Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I am beyond excited to be filming this video for you guys. It is my take on a modern bridal tutorial. So please do let me know what you think of this video down below and let me know if you'd like to see this as a series. I would definitely love to do more looks, whether it's a boho makeup tutorial, goth inspired makeup. Just let me know. I think it would be so cool to do that. But let me know what you think of this video down below. Now, if you are somebody who's going to be doing your makeup at home one of the first tips that i can give you is skin prep now if you can afford to definitely get some facials they make such an overall difference to your skin and the way your skin will glow on your big day if not of course a great face mask can also do wonders as well so definitely either book yourself in for a facial a few weeks prior to the wedding and just before the wedding or you know give yourself a really good face mask it'll make the world of difference now, as you can see, I've already gone in and primed my skin. Now, I have primed my skin with two primers. The very first one that I used was by Ol Henriksen, and that was the Vitamin C primer I'll have all the products listed down below I chose this primer because it really gives the skin a nice radiant glow and on your big day you want to have absolutely glowing and gorgeous skin so that's why I chose that product but because I did also want to cover up my pores I did go in with the cover FX pore filling primer to just cover in my enlarged pores over my t-section area now i've also gone in with this liquid highlighter and as you can see i'm only taking it just over the cheekbone area as that's the area i really want to focus on now when it comes to primers you also need to think of your eyes now for me personally i just like to use a concealer of some sort i have quite veiny eyelids and i like to really kind of cancel out all that discoloration so i like to find a concealer that works well for me now this one here is by huda beauty it is actually a cream eyeshadow but because it's a nude color it doubles up so well as a primer for the eyes so that's what i have chosen today so when it comes to your wedding when it comes to the big day use products that you know and love i'm using these products in this video because i love them i know they work well for me but when it comes to your special day pick products that you know so as you can see i've gone in with my eye primer and cancelled out any discoloration and now i'm moving on to the brows now another thing that you can do prior to the wedding is definitely go and get a good brow wax and tint um, I love getting my brows waxed and tinted. I go every four weeks and my brow artist has really helped shape my brows to what they are today. And it makes such a big difference in filling them in. When it comes to brow style, that's going to be personal preference. I have fuller brows. I like a bold brow and I also like to have more of a feather kind of look to my brow. So I went in with these. Uh, the MAC Shape and Shade to really kind of just create some soft feather stroke brow looks and then to fill in the front of my brow I went in with a powder. A powder is nice and soft and quite natural looking. I didn't want to use anything heavy like a pomade. These products are still super long wearing but yet they look quite natural and you can see the difference now in the brow that is done to the brow that's not. It is enhanced but it hasn't overdone it. Now I'm going straight to eyes because we definitely don't want any fallout and the palette that I've chosen to go in is by Viseart. This is the warm neutrals palette. I love this palette because the shadows are super easy to work with and they blend like a dream. Now when it comes to your big day, practice makes perfect. So practice, practice, practice as much as you can and trust me. You'll be able to do this. If I can do this, you can do this. Just really take your time. Make sure you have the time on the day and make sure you've done a lot of practice. So what I'm first doing is just laying down my transition shade. Now, I did not fast forward at all through any of the eyeshadow looks. So I do apologize um, that this part of the video may be a little long, but I wanted to show you guys in real time exactly what I was doing. So what I like to do is really build up my transition color and that's what I've done with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm just moving on to the next shade in the palette and I do apologize because none of these shades have names and I'm starting to deepen that up. So this is the process that I'm using where I am going in with one shade, I've taken a smaller brush and now I'm building up upon that. So I'm layering and layering and layering. It is so much easier to build and build and build your colors than what it is to just go in really heavy handed and try to blend everything out. 
So definitely take your time and build up those colors. It doesn't look like much in the beginning, but it all comes together. And as you can see, I am changing brushes pretty much between each step. This time I have taken a much darker shade and this shade I'm just purely focusing kind of on the outer corner and keeping low to my lash line. I've gone in with a pencil brush for this because I really wanted to be quite precise with where I'm laying this color down. So I've chosen a little brush to be able to go in with that finer detail. Now I'm also taking it into the outer corner as you can see. Now I'm not going to be able to really blend with this brush because that's not what it's designed to do. So you, in a moment you'll see me switch back over to the first brush that I used and now I'm using that brush to blend. It is really great to have a few different brushes and different size brushes, especially when it comes to detail work. Now, once again, I'm pretty much repeating the exact same step, but I'm just going in with a darker shade. Now, I have blue eyes, and so for me, a really nice brown color complements my eye color really well. You may not want to use these exact shades. Pick what works best for you. For me, I feel like brown is really, really nice, really flattering on my eyes, really makes them pop. And because it is your big day, you want to have makeup on but you don't want to have so much on that you don't look like yourself so wear what makes you feel comfortable and roll with that and so i pretty much just repeated the exact same step again where i went in with a shade and then i've gone in with a darker shade layering down and blending so i'm taking my time to really kind of pack on these colors blend them out and just build them up now you're probably noticing at this point that i'm not really doing a lot to the inner corner and i'm not i'm leaving that area blank because I want to make my eyes appear more open for me with my eye shape if I go too dark into the inner corner area it closes my eyes up you also want to lay down your shadow in in a way that's going to be most complementary to your eyes so now I'm just quickly going back into the first shade that I laid down and blend and re-blending over the transition area just to make sure that everything is really well blended and that nothing is kind of messy now it doesn't look like much at the moment but it really does start to pull together from here now because the palette that i was using before was all mattes i would just wanted a little bit of shimmer so i'm going i have picked up this natasha denona palette and i'm using the really nice dark shade in the corner there that has a really nice light shimmer to it and i'm packing that down in the outer corner of my eyes this is going to be one of the final colors that i use and i know once again guys it doesn't look like much but you're going to really see this look come together in a moment and i I think it's nice to have just a wee bit of sparkle. I didn't want anything too intense, but this one has just that really nice amount of sparkle to it. So I'm just laying that down in the outer corner before I blend it out once more. And I do apologize that I keep looking down to the side. I am so sorry that I'm doing this. I actually had Netflix on. I'm so sorry, <laughs> um, but it is true. And I was kind of intrigued by something that I was watching. It was Black Mirror. So I do apologize. I When I was editing this, I was like, what are you doing? But you guys can see, so or at least I hope you can see what I'm doing there. Now I had a little bit of fallout underneath my eyes, so I'm taking my concealer. Now on your big day, you want to make sure you are picking a concealer that works really well for you. This one here is by Estee Lauder and it is the double wear stay in place all day wear concealer. I think that's the name. It's really, really long. It's super full coverage and it is super long wearing. I wanted something that was really going to pack a punch, give me a lot of color, hide all that discoloration, but not budge. And that's what I love about this one. It's super light feeling under the eye for how much coverage that it has. And so I'm just taking that under the air, under the eye area and really sharpened up that eyeshadow and the outer corner to give it an even more lifted look. It's going to hide all my discoloration and stay locked in day uh, and stay locked in all day long. Now I will be applying falsies, but I first wanted to just curl my lashes and do a few coats of mascara. So I've chosen the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and this is my Tarte Curler. So just laying down a few coats of mascara before we go in with lashes. Now if you want to, if you're not really great with lashes, you could look at individual lashes. You could also look at getting lash extensions, but they can be quite costly. So I have chosen some lashes by House of Lashes. And like I said, I'll have all of the styles and all of the products listed below. I like these lashes because they do give a nice added effect to the eye. They're 
nice fluffy and big but they're not so big that they take everything away and I can tell you now that you don't have to be the best blender you don't have to be the best person at applying eyeshadow but whenever you put on a pair of falsies it just instantly makes your whole look look even more glam so pick a pair of falsies that work well for you trim them up I didn't show that in the video but I did trim these up to fit better to my eye and when you see them now, when you see the eye look now with the falsies, it just looks on a whole nother level. Now I've just gone back in with a dark eyeshadow and just ran over the band where the eyeshadows were as well, just to make sure that the, everything was blended and that you, that I could kind of disguise the falsies the best that I could. And you can see now just how much more glam the look is looking. So now it's time for foundation. So on your big day, you want to pick a foundation that you know works well for you. For me, I've gone in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It has been one of my tried and true foundations for many, many years. It is super long wearing. It is super full coverage or you can shear it out if you'd like. And I just know it wears well. It doesn't have any SPF in it either. So do be careful of that, guys. SPF does cause flashbacks. So when you're using a foundation, just definitely check that it doesn't have SPF in it. Because when you're taking photos, especially on your big day, you don't want any SPF to be in that foundation. Or you're going to get a horrible flashback in all your photos. So pick a foundation that works for you. Just make sure it doesn't have any SPF in it. So I'm just blending this all over with my sponge. My skin was looking especially great this day, which was good for me. If you do have any blemishes, um, now would be the time to kind of get some concealer as well and just spot conceal over any blemishes that you have. I was really lucky this day. So I'm blending it down my neck. You can also blend over your ears, take it really like far down the chest. You want everything to look really blended, really seamless, take it right into the hairline. Just make sure you really have the time. If you're doing your own makeup on your wedding day make sure you really set the time to be able to do everything and have everything done properly and just the time to be able to do it now the next product i'm going in with is by huda beauty this is the tan tour and i'm going in with this stippling brush and i'm just going to start to contour and just really kind of shape out the cheek area I love a good cream because cream is super long wearing. It's a lot more natural looking as well than powder because I was wearing a lot of makeup this day. I still wanted to, even though I knew it looked like a lot of makeup, I still wanted it to look as natural as possible as well. If you guys know what I mean, like I know it looks like a lot, but I didn't want it to look all cakey and, and powdery. And so cream contour cream products are really quite natural so that's why i've chosen a cream to contour and bronze as opposed to a powder it definitely is personal preference um but that is why i've chosen this because it for me i just feel like it is so much more flattering and it has a more natural look now you feel free to contour however you please if you like to contour that jaw if you like to contour your nose go for it for me i always kind of just do the cheek area and on the forehead now if you ever get sloppy with your contour take your blender go right underneath and you can see how that instantly just sharpened everything up for me that is such a good tip if you guys didn't know that when it comes to setting the face you also don't want to use a powder that has like a white to it um if you guys know what i mean like um your white kind of setting powders this one here is by charlotte tilbury and it has a slight tint to it i love this powder i think it's called like the flawless finishing powder or something like that it's really really nice it wears super well it locks in my makeup all day long it doesn't mattify things um it doesn't make things oily it's kind of that perfect sheen and it's got like a nice hold, but not too strong of a hold either. And I just think it looks so flattering on the skin. So that's why I've chosen this one. So I'm just setting everything down pretty much except for that cream contour because it is the self-setting, uh, self-setting. So it doesn't require any powder over the top of it. Also going to go in with a super strong brow gel. This one here is by Urban Decay. My brows tend to kind of fall a little throughout the day if I don't put any brow gel in them. So I am just brushing them up and feathering them out the way that I like to wear my brows. Once again, this is going to be such personal preference. If you don't have a brow gel, you can also just use hairspray, spray it on a spoolie, brush your brows up. It will do the same thing. 
Now for blush, I wanted to use like a traditional pinky type of blush that you kind of see in a lot of wedding photography. So this blush here is by Benefit. Um, this is in the shade Dandelion, I believe. It is such a beautiful pink shade and you guys will see this in a moment. It looks so flattering on the skin. It gives just this beautiful, soft flush of pink to the cheeks. It is so pretty. It's just, to me, everything that I envision when I think of a wedding day. So that's why I've chosen this blush. It just complements my skin tone really well as well. So definitely, you know, use a product that complements your skin and whatever makes you feel beautiful. Now, when it comes to highlight, one of the biggest tips that I can give is to pick something that actually has a glow to it and isn't glittery. Glitter is going to look horrible in photography, but if you can get a highlighter that has a glow, you it's just going to look so stunning, not only in person, but in photography as well. So this highlight here is by Dior. Now I am highlighting my cheeks and with a little extra, I am also highlighting the center of my forehead, my cupid's bow just to really kind of bring light and attention to those areas and now for setting spray i've gone in with the one by Too face what i love about this one is it truly settles all powders down and really makes them melt in with the skin now for lips i wanted to keep things pretty neutral nothing too crazy so i've gone in with the lip liner by mac this is in the shade whirl it is a cult favorite and i'm just lining my lips I think that when it comes to a traditional kind of modern day bridal look, that really nice kind of soft pinky lip is very much still on trend. The beautiful pinky, baby pink kind of blush and that really kind of nice just muted pink lip color like your lips but better is very very true to what I think of when I think of a modern day bride. So my lip color of choice was also by MAC and it was in the shade Velvet Teddy. So I've lined my lips and then I've gone in with Velvet Teddy all over the top and I just think that that color combo is absolutely perfect for this look. I also got a little sloppy with my lip liner so I've just actually taken a little concealer on a brush and I've just sharpened up my lip line. So I'm sorry that you can't see what I'm doing behind the mirror but that is what I'm doing there. And I've pretty much only got my lower lash line to finish off so I'm taking this teeny tiny brush once again and I'm going in with one of the darker shades that I used and I'm just taking this underneath my eyes so just along pretty much the outer half to third way across the outer portion of my eye. Once again, I don't take this right into the inner corner because I don't want to close off my eyes. And I don't like to wear mascara on my bottom lashes. That is just a personal preference for me. So we want to make sure that things are looking more balanced. So by putting that little bit of darkness in the outer corners of the eye, you can just see how it really ties the eye look together. And of course, I'm just going in with that pencil brush to just kind of blend things out a little more. Don't forget guys, blend, blend, blend. Now really the final step is just to add a little bit more glow to the eyes. I was just wiping away any powder that may have fallen onto my eyes at this point. So I'm going back in with when I find it. <laughs> I think that's what I'm doing here, searching for my highlight. I'm going back in with that same highlight as before. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. So I'm just brow, I'm just highlighting the very, very tip of my brow. And it just makes the brows appear that little bit more defined once again. And of course, the inner corners of my eyes. This will really make your eyes pop. If you have smaller eyes, you can put a nude in the waterline. That will help open the eyes up even further. Or of course, just doing your inner corner pop of highlight to help open things up. And that is the look complete, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it for you guys. I'm so obsessed with this makeup look. I just think it's perfect and exactly what I think of when I think of a modern day bride. So please let me know what you think of this video down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.